Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. Welcome back. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I have some computers to build and I figured I'd just share them with you guys. Today we're going to be building a home theater PC. Uh, let's go over the hardware that I'm going to be installing in this, this case here, and uh, we'll get started on it. The case I'll be using in this build today was just listed on eBay. They're brand new from China. It was just listed as a Micro ATX steel case. Uh, I've seen these uh, years ago and always wanted to get one. They're very compact micro ATX case. I took the side panel and I'm not going to be using that. I made a full view window for the side panel. This is magnetic strip. The front I.O. came uh, red anodized. I painted it blue to match the theme of the build. And I just think this will be a good case for this build. Very compact, but I'm going to squeeze a lot of hardware into it. The two fans I'll be using in this build are Corsair. I painted the blades blue. They're just your standard Corsair case fans. The memory I'll be using in this build is Kingston ECC memory, because this board supports ECC memory, so I figured it would, couldn't hurt. So there's 8 gigabytes of Kingston ECC DDR3 memory. The CPU cooler I'll be using today is from a Dell XPS and I modified the brackets to fit an AM3 Plus socket. If you want to see how I modify and make these brackets there's a video on YouTube you can go back and look at and I go through a tutorial on how to modify a Intel heatsink to fit an AMD board. The motherboard I'll be using today is the ASUS M5A78L-M USB 3. This, like I said, this board supports ECC memory. It's a micro ATX and I believe it'll be perfect for this build. Has HDMI out, uh, USB 3, four RAM slots, and it supports a FX AM3 Plus socket. The processor I'm using in this build is an AMD FX6300. This is a six core processor, runs at a stock speed of 3.5 gigahertz. It'll turbo up to four gigahertz without a problem. Uh, I figure this would be really good for streaming uh, TV and movies from the internet and pretty much being a powerful desktop computer. The SSD I'll be installing in this today is a Team Group L5 Lite. It's a 120 gigabyte SSD. This will be for the operating system. The hard drive will be a Seagate Constellation 7200 RPM and this is a two terabyte drive for the storage. Uh, this customer does not need a lot of storage. He streams about everything he does. This is a dual bracket I've salvaged out of a HP computer. This case only had room for one uh, three and a half inch hard drive so I'm going to install this so there could be two added if he ever wants to add another drive in the future. I have four slotted vented PCI slots I'll be using. I'll go over that later and during the build. I have some Miscellaneous screws, double-sided tape, some uh, Velcro tape. I ordered uh, two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second blue SATA cables. There's a fan splitter for the two front fans so that it would run off of the motherboard. The power supply I'm going to be using is a Corsair CS450 modular. This is a 80 plus gold rated power supply and that pretty much covers the hardware I'm going to be using in this build. Okay, now that we went over the hardware that we're going to be using in this, I'll go over the case a little in, in a little more depth because I did some modifications to it. Uh, there's enough uh, tutorials on how to assemble a computer online. Uh, I'm just going to throw some music in the background and do a build montage. So, enjoy.
Okay, she's fully assembled. I pull up a monitor, a keyboard mouse. Uh, let's plug this in and, and get it to boot up. Power cord, monitor, and I have keyboard and mouse here. Okay, let's start it. Bands are running. I hear the drive boot. I mean spin up. There's the BIOS. And it's looking for an operating system. Let me uh, let me put Windows 10 on this and then I'll be back. When I come back, I'd like to go over some of the things I did to this computer. Uh, some of the modifications I did and not any of that, but why I installed the hardware the way I did it. So I'll be back in about an hour and we'll go over that then. For starters, when I bought this case, this front bezel here was red. It was uh, anodized red and I painted blue to match the theme of this computer. If you notice, I installed the fans blowing out the front instead of through the case and out the back. This uh, home theater computer is going to be in a closet. There's a small form factor computer there now that uh, gets hot all the time because it just cycles that hot air. So I am letting it suck on all the cold air in the back and some from the power supply. I'm hoping some will rise, but even if it pulls it in, this power supply is not going to create a lot of heat and I want it to blow out the front of the case because it's on a shelf in a closet and that, that heat just, uh, it just circulates back there in the back of the closet. So that's why I also put in the uh, vented PCI slots to bring more air in back and then run it out the front. You can even see that the air on the heat sink is blowing forward towards them front fans. The heat sink is actually turned around to blow the air out the front. So I took off the label off the power supply because it was green lettering and I just didn't really want to print new labels for it. So it's just going to remain black. So let's put the window back on there. Let me get a couple more shots of it. It's running Windows 10 Pro and it's ready for the customer to set up. Okay, this wraps this video up. Uh, build is complete. I'm going to get a little B-roll for you. And uh, the next thing I have going is uh, my friend needs an upgrade to his, his computer. I built his computer probably in 2014, 2015, and it's ready for an upgrade. So I'll be working on that next. So stay tuned to Sean's Test Bench for more videos. Thank you.